what to do y'all and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm very very excited to bring you my kind of semi-annual grouping of empties so i collect all of my beauty empties in a pretty massive drawer in my desk and i just let it pile up pretty much until i feel like you girl should not open that drawer because products are going to spill out and so i pretty much have it to fill up one of the kind of i guess normal size fabric cubes in case you kind of are wondering the scope of how many empties i have so it's going to be a lot i'm going to try not to really belabor any products but like if there's something that i think is important to talk about i'm going to talk about it um that said not all of my empties actually make it into this sometimes your girl just forgets sometimes i am too i just don't want to show it which is weird but i try to show at least one of everything um but like for example, I've worn through more deodorant and like toothpaste than probably you guys will see in this video. Not probably, I know, I know. Um, that's that. I did film this video or this look. This look will be coming up for Friday's video with all new makeup. So with that said, let's just get into it. Alrighty, so this is gonna be a beast. I'm gonna just try to kind of grab from the top. And you know what? I'm gonna get my actual trash can so I can just throw things in the actual trash. And so that hopefully this will just be seamless. All right, so there's is no rhyme or reason. First thing on top is this deodorant. This is an aluminum free, paraben and phthalate free deodorant. It is AOS Sport. I believe this is kind of geared towards men. I do sweat a lot. So sometimes I go for a man deodorant. Sometimes I go for a woman deodorant. Just kind of depends on the brand. I don't particularly like this brand for the simple fact that, um, I think I have yeah I do so this smits right so when I use this I feel like the discoloration that I have in my armpits goes away and I also just think that it smells better and it works perfectly fine whereas this one I find the discoloration on my armpit comes back even though it's an aluminum feet free and I feel like the one kind of beautiful thing about aluminum fee is free deodorants is that you no longer have that discoloration also you know those toxins and all that stuff so that is just kind of my deodorant understanding in these last couple of months since my last um empties i really do prefer schmitz but it's so expensive and it almost is never on sale so it drives me insane but you know it's one of those things go for it and this one i always find cheaper that's why i kind of will sucker myself into picking this up if your girl is out of deodorant and like she doesn't want to spend like ten dollars because i feel like these are like ten eleven dollars depending on where you go so not cheap deodorant but i also like it and i do think they're actually available at ulta now which is nice oh and i'm not linking all of this stuff i have like over 50 items i can't do that i cannot do that this is my favorite toothpaste i love it it's the arm and hammer peroxide care deep clean i love this toothpaste i've been using this since like high school more or less on and off sometimes i forget to pick it up or like when i was college i think i was just too cheap to pick this up but now it's like a thing for me i feel like especially these last five years i've not had a cavity while using this and also like regularly going to the dentist so yeah really enjoying this i think unfortunately i have two tubes of another inferior toothpaste but after that i'm going definitely back to this one um, I have some Briogeo products. So this is a Briogeo scalp revival. I went through heavily at the very beginning of me trying to fix my scalp. My scalp is definitely nowhere near that anymore, which I'm so, so appreciative and happy about. It took me quite a while to kind of, I think, balance out and kind of get rid of whatever was on my scalp to agitate it. And I do believe that this helped a lot. And I think I've gone through now two bottles of it. So this is a brand that was recommended by a YouTuber that's all about hair. Like she is all about natural hair and I do believe she has like 4C-ish type hair. So this is the Quimactic 
but wow this is the Quimetic Biologics Morning Tree Conditioning G so I like to use this as like a leave-in conditioner after I've left my shower it's a really nice product I went through it quite quickly and it's not the cheapest product so I kind of was like oh, okay it's cute maybe when it's on sale so yeah that's the reason why I haven't picked it up again but I do really enjoy it this was just a hand sanitizer that I kept at my desk. I have replaced it with a Bath and Body Works. No rhyme or reason why I didn't replace this other than this was free and so I can't really pick it up whereas the Bath and Body Works it's easily accessible for me um, because I go to Bath and Body Works quite a bit. So Essence Mascara this is their lash their false lash this was my kind of holy grail until i found the maybelline sky high that's kind of replaced this i just prefer it more so good mascara i just don't think i'm gonna ever repurchase at least right now the maybelline super stay concealer was in my project pan i finished her this is a really nice concealer but i don't necessarily enjoy the shade so happy to be done with her these are like my second lash empties so these are from lily lashes and these are in the shade miami the bands are like broken i've worn them so so much um and i tried to like wash them and it didn't work either i need to figure out how to kind of maintain lashes a little bit more because i feel like i didn't get like the my money's worth even though i got these on sale but like i would love to get the like 20 dollars worth of use out of them another mascara i finished up is from ColourPop. this is their level up lengthening mascara i got it in the shade black this actually is a really fantastic mascara for lengthening i also have choose i also have finished their other mascara and i enjoy them both i just don't particularly enjoy supporting ColourPop. an abh brow pencil this is in the shade dark brown i do enjoy this pencil i don't buy it very often i pretty much only buy it when it's on sale and i can get through brow pencils specifically this kind of um, uh, size and all of that jazz in about three months a setting spray I'm really really happy I finished is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin setting spray I don't need any luminosity when it comes to setting sprays because I am an oily well combination skin gal that said when I picked this up I thought that that was a way to use the matte foundations that I had to get a luminous finish instead of getting like a luminous powder so anyways I'm so happy I was able to finish this up and it's no longer haunting me what is this oh this is a clarifying toner from cos rx so i picked up this and their essence at the same time this was a spray bottle so it was just easier for me to get through it it was a really nice toner i also just don't think that it did all that much but i liked it i used it i don't think i'm gonna repurchase it though candle empty this is from forever mood which is jackie Ina's brand this one is in skinny dipped I think I like this but one but I didn't love this one there were a couple others that I loved not particularly this one so this was a candle from the brand that did the collaborations with Taylor Wynn and I believe this was something like COVID something or other it was like thrown in my uh order for free i'm pretty sure it's nice i really like the wicks from this brand though i hopefully i'll have the brand name on the screen they have wood wicks and i really enjoy that aesthetic i feel like it makes my room feel warmer and kind of cozier and you also get the like crackling as well so i really like the wood wick and this is a nice scent whatever it was i took the top off because i needed it to kind of smother other candles because the other candles didn't come with the top so that's me I'm just refusing to buy a smothener or -er -er, so yeah elf sponge I go through these quite often this is my favorite beauty sponge I pick these up or the eco tools sponges a lot um, because they're cheap and I also just really like the products I finished a Danessa Myricks 
formula skin product I don't even know which one this was to be quite honest so yeah it's a sample not something extravagant but I threw it in here so I figured I'd tell you guys I finished one the ordinary rose hip oil I've gone through like two or three of these actually now and I do believe I have one currently in rotation I do really enjoy rose hip oil at night to seal in all of the products that I put on for night so that my skin is nice and hydrated in the morning I really want to try good molecules version the only kind of problem is that their rose hip oil is only available online and I typically just prefer to pick up my products in store so that's why I keep picking this up honestly but yeah another hair product from Quimactic Biologics is their Burdock Root Buttercream I will say this brand overall has a really good smell on all of their hair products. I flew through this hair cream. It was really nice, nice and thick, but I felt like it really moisturized my skin, or not my skin, my hair follicles and all of that jazz. Really liked it. I haven't repurchased it, but really, really nice. Um, I think like quite a few years ago, my mom bought me like, a bunch of face masks and so I've just been slowly getting through them and yeah this is the face mask this is an aloe vera one it's nice nothing nothing really to write home about um I'm pretty sure she got it like for stupid cheap I finished the Fenty Beauty loose setting spray and pro filter cashew this is like the mini or like the discount version that they sent in like a I don't know a perk or whatever i really like this shade and this powder i do want to get a full size but i am trying to get through some powders before i pick up any more this is a mac empty this is in consensual i finished this whole product i'm very very proud of that and i am going to be trying to back to mac i have quite a few empties or products that i just am not going to use so i want to back to mac them i just don't go to a mac store so that's how that's going um some more things the inky list i have their vitamin c i don't particularly like this product i feel like it balled up a lot and i felt like i really needed to cut this with my moisturizer at the time so i wouldn't necessarily recommend this this is not a skincare brand that i really got along with but you know some people have so there's that then we have the good molecules hyaluronic acid serum i will use this when i don't feel like using an essence because i pretty much use them interchangeably in my skincare routine i like it good molecules is definitely the one kind of affordable skincare brand that i've really gotten along with a majority of their products so once again i like it is it like a live or die no but i do really like it i got this for like you know one of those I'm gonna put the code in and I get a whole bunch of stuff so this is the Kapari coconut melt it was nice you know it fit in where it got in when I didn't have a, a makeup remover other than that I'm not gonna pick it up I don't really like a coconut based product for moving my products for removing my makeup but it was nice I was glad I got my money's worth well I was glad I got my typing worth I didn't really pay for that so yeah so I also finished this I think I finished two I don't know where the other one is but this is the replica jazz club I really like this one I definitely want to get a full bottle of this but I'm waiting for the winter which is the time period where I'm going to actually use this product I finished um, the Light Slacker So Clingy uh, base. I didn't like this base and I'm not particularly in love with the brand's formula overall. I do have some of their colored uh, nail polishes and they're not my favorite. So yeah, happy to have finished it. Will never repurchase personally. Okay, let's keep doing with some more hair products. I also picked up and finished the Creole Essence Hazian C Asian shea butter and this is 100% I really like this brand I have quite a few empties from this brand and I really like them I mean this is not the perfect shea butter for me but I like this brand overall I really love their long hair don't care kind of range although I feel like that's a majority of their collection at least that's available at Ulta so I would say like check out this range if you are 4c and you're kind of looking for a range that is new and unique once again another conditioning G like I said I really went through a couple of those 
another hair product that I just had for so long and I was like why is this still here I bought it from the beauty supply for like two dollars but I wanted to get my money okay so this is the softy signature African shea butter it's supposed to be a hair and scalp conditioner I was really using this when my scalp was highly agitated just to moisturize it to try and like cut away some of the flakiness and the irritation it was nice it was from a beauty supply so like Am I going to recommend it? No, but I'm happy I got my $2.99's money worth from it, you know? A couple of scalp kind of cleansers or whatever. So this one is the Cleanse Rinse from Sunday Riley. I actually really like this. I like that it was already mixed. I like all I had to do was open up the product, apply it, rub, and go about my business. So I would, I would say check this out would i say it's worth the money you know debatable you could always just use some apple cider vinegar water diluted and that's basically this so i don't know if i would say that i'd highly recommend that then we also have the christophe robin scalp um cleanser flaky thing i like this i won't repurchase this i ended up purchasing this after i got like a little point perk to kind of sample the product and i really liked it i thought it was really helping and i do ultimately think it really helped to kind of take those scaly parts of my scalp away but you know then i stopped using it and it was just sitting there and i had to force myself to use it and it was good but I clearly don't like it enough to buy it and actually constantly use it so no need to pick it up again and that also was not a cheap product another hair product I see really easily is the Orbe serene scalp highly recommend if you have an agitated scalp look at this okay this was definitely a one of my best purchases from Beautylish to date and that's saying something because Beautylish I feel like is not really known for providing hair products and especially Orbe hair products this was not cheap this little bottle there was not a lot of product in this either 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters but this was worth it I'm telling you it was worth it another essence false lash let's put this in my lap Alrighty, some more skincare for you all. So I have the sunscreen um, from Supergoop. Which, this was their mineral sunscreen. I don't particularly love this, but it was a nice sunscreen. I prefer right now their Unseen. That has been my favorite sunscreen, and I've tried three from their range. I also have another product from the Inky List, and this was their moisturizer. I think it was okay, but I definitely thought that this really helped with that vitamin C that I talked about earlier. Okay, let's break some up. Let's do some makeup empties. I also finished the Soap and Glory Kick All Day Wear Foundation. I had this in the shade, I wanna say 12. I really did like this foundation. I really liked the coverage, the like uh, finish. I loved everything about this. And I also finished their One Heck of a Blot Primer. I really enjoy their uh, makeup so far and it's disappointing because I feel like they're not really doing makeup anymore. Something that I literally put in the declutter or empties even though I did not finish it is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. I hate this mascara. I tried it like two or three times. I hated what it did. I will never use that product another makeup empty is from Tarte I finished their face tape foundation this is in the shade rich neutral I went through a really big phase at the beginning of um 2022 where I was going through a lot of makeup empties another one another ABH uh brow pencil I also have another Ofra makeup mist I have a Fenty Beauty Slip Tease. I think that's what this shine Slip Tease in the shade Bubble Rum. Completely finished this up and I absolutely loved this formula. Um, and it's sad to see it go, but I'm also happy to see me get my money's worth. Okay, a couple more makeup empties and then we'll switch to something else. We have the Uma Beauty Brow. Um, gel it was okay i would not repurchase but i got my money's worth i also finished yet another nyx glitter glue i believe this is now my second that i finished in my makeup journey lifetime whatever i like it i really do but i also would love if i could find something that like was a i, I don't know i like it i like it 
I think I was just really trying to find more of an indie brand equivalent and I still have not found one. So if you have one, shout it out down below for your girl. Okay, let's do some perfume empties, shall we? Okay, we have a couple. So I have a couple like sample sizes. So one is from Dior. It is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. I really liked this one. And then I have the Toca Florence. I really like this one as well. So I actually already have the full size of the Toca Florence. The Miss Dior, I want a full size but i also don't think it's worth the price and it's not super unique so i haven't picked one up yet but i am still intrigued i finished both of my elizabeth and james nirvana scents so one was in black the other one was in gray i actually depotted these are kind of what is it called in fragrance world we're gonna go with depotting because i can't think of the fragrance world alternative uh decanted that's what it is i decanted these into sprayers and i finished both of them i really enjoyed them um i would say for me my favorite was the gray but i don't know if i'm gonna ever purchase full sizes because you know it wasn't super unique it was just nice it was just nice one that did actually irritate my skin uh towards the end of using it was the scentworks peach sea breeze body cream i think this was too heavily scented and just too thick for my eczema skin and so it did agitate it but i did finish it so you know there's a win there i also finished the mini of the fresh cream warm cashmere from phil philosophy i did really enjoy this and i do have a full size oh really nice another scent that i decanted was this calvin calvin klein deep euphoria i originally really liked it when it's in this rollerball when i decanted it i didn't like it as much it definitely took some time for me to get through it but i am happy to report that i did finish it and then the last scented product that I can see all right here now is another candle from Forever Mood. And this is their Hey Big Head. So I picked up their four pack when they initially came into uh, Sephora, just to support really. And this is nice once again, but I think one of the two that I finished originally were the two that were my favorite. These two last were just ones that I just got through, but they definitely were not favorites. Okay, let's do what's on the desk, shall we? We got a hair product, the Melanin Hair Oil. This was in a project pan. I do enjoy this hair oil and I like it. Is it a favorite? No, I actually have a favorite from um, Cryo Essence. I don't think I have it here. I think I finished it and I never repurchased it, but I actually prefer the scent and everything else of that one over this one. But this one is really good though, too. Don't get me wrong. I also finished the Body Shops. Um, body scrub this is their exfoliating body scrub this is a nice product it was just too messy for me in my shower i just didn't like it so i had to get rid of it but i am happy i got my money's worth another makeup item that i finished was from danessa myricks this is her cream bronzer i finished the whole thing i'm very very happy to have finished this i feel insanely accomplished when it came to that one i also went through a phase where i picked up nola skin essentials everything and i really do like this brand my big kind of issue is the fact that i it takes a while to actually receive the items and i tend to wait until the last minute to pick up my skincare and so because of that i'll go through a lapse where i don't have any skincare at all and that is just not something that i like also i feel like i ran through their products very quickly every time i purchased so it was just not a cost effective thing for me in the grand scheme of things and i know i was supporting a small indie brand and i believe this is actually a black owned brand as well but i just it just in the long run didn't seem worth it this is another one a product from them and this is their not your ordinary skin purify your skin i don't actually remember what this is to be honest it's been so long since i've mm, that does not smell good um it's been so long since i've had this product i believe this was like a body cream and i if this was the body cream i actually did enjoy it uh but i'm actually supporting my friend's brand right now with like this kind of um 
you know indie brand body cream and i really like her brand as well but good but i just once again it takes too long to get it for the delay that i have naturally when it comes to picking up skincare the last thing i had available quickly was the tgin deep hydrating mask i believe this is a very recent empty i have just a little bit but honestly i can't do anything with that um i really do like this i like the brand um i don't love the brand as much as everybody else does so yeah there's that okay this is another product from Crow essence and this is their conditioner i really like this conditioner i flew through this i wish they had a bigger quantity that you could pick up from my knowledge this is the only quantity that you have and this range on, not only focuses on like long hair but also scalp care and that was really why i really gravitated toward this range also they're black owned and i really you know i love to support my peoples another kind of group of samples i finished up two of the benefit the professional little samples so you know there's that i also finished up the inky Liss's oak cleansing balm i was not a huge fan of this product at all um although i think that i could apply this in a similar manner to what's in my bathroom right now or my shower and this would have been better but i just was not a huge fan of it like in the sink kind of as a everyday cleanser first step i do two steps when it comes to cleansing i also finished my uh, lotion so this is the brand that i prefer to use when i am having a flare-up when it comes to my eczema and this is eucerin i find that they have kind of some of the best skin uh moisturizers for kind of real problematic skin situations so this was one that i used to kind of auto buy but they are expensive okay so i found an equivalent or for me it's going to be equivalent for right now but i really do like this it's just it's so expensive y'all so expensive this actually got sent to me a while ago and i finally finished it up and this is the old henrik's fat glow facial it was nice it was nice i also finished up my chico hodo makeup brush uh cleanser this was fine i just think i went through this way too quickly for the cost of it and for the fact that it's supposed to be for like my more expensive brushes i just don't think it was worth it i think you can get some cheaper alternative you know and go with that a cleanser that i'll pick up pretty much on a routine if i don't have a like go-to cleanser at the time is this one this is from the body shop this is their tea tree skin clean clearing facial wash i'll pick this up and actually the moisturizer and even the toner sometimes if i don't have something that i really want to try or that i really want to buy again it's nice it's a big bottle for a really cheap um, price and that's kind of why I tend to go back to it okay we're getting into the weeds I finished my moisturizer from selfless by harem so this is actually like backed by the inky list so I'm pretty sure this is like basically the inky list's formulas with just like a tweak or two from Hiram um I think this was fine I liked the idea that niacinamide um was in my moisturizer so I was really getting quite a bit of niacinamide at the time of me using this but I don't think it was worth the ticket price although I actually got this on sale I also finished up my Dior Backstage in the shade 6N. I love this foundation. It is such a beautiful foundation. Beautiful uh, shade match. Absolutely love everything about this. This was just the toothpaste that my dentist gave me. I absolutely hated it. So I ran through it so I could just be done with it. And this is the Colgate Optic White. I just prefer my... Um, the one that i showed you guys at the beginning that is just my favorite it does taste weird at the beginning but once you get used to it it's honestly weird to try some of these like normal toothpaste again i also finished a powder this is the essence brighten up powder in peach i love this powder um i don't believe it is available anymore but it was a really nice powder and it took me a while to get through which is good and it was cheap and affordable middle name right now middle name okay i finished a soap from a brand that gave me their soap this was in between the point that i had bar soap and i didn't it was fine 
it was free I'm pretty sure I don't really know where I got that from that was when I was buying a lot from Etsy um, and I don't really buy a lot from Etsy anymore this is another um, shade from the Danessa Myricks total cover foundation absolutely hate that foundation hate everything about it the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer i thought this was nice but it was only a foil sample so i couldn't really get a lot of opinions but i thought the product was nice i finished my fenty beauty concealer and this was in the shade almond butter and this was their brightening up kind of uh formulation i really liked this concealer heavy well pretty solid medium coverage um but really nice really nice concealer and i would say it is slightly moisturizing but really it was that um natural finish that really i loved about that product okay all right we also have a nyx epic liner this one happened to be in black i did finish it i go through these every so often um it just kind of depends on how often i'm actually wearing liquid liner obviously but you know i have that so that's an empty i also have the other perfume from replica which is by the fireplace i love both of these i will be getting a full size of both although i think i'm gonna get a bigger size i think i'm gonna get the three whatever size of jazz club and just like the one ounce of this one because i did tend to reach for jazz club a lot more but i like them both i also finished up the Jo malone fig and lotus flower perfume really nice perfume i don't believe i picked up a full size of this but that's not to say that i won't i just have not yet i also finished up the bite lip liner that was in my project pan the name is no longer on there so i can't really give you guys the name i'm pretty sure bite is yeah bite was one of the brands that went out of business so it's nice um but you can't really get it anymore another product from good molecules is their cleansing balm i thought this was okay it wasn't enough for me to feel the need to pick it up though but i really liked the sample and i was happy to try it i also finished up my mac paint pot this was a journey this was a mission and a success okay i'm very happy about this and i will attempt to back to mac that if i ever go to a mac store i also finished up my little mac sample and this is their pro eye makeup remover i didn't think it did anything more than like a normal uh cleanser but that's me who am i i also finished up another nail polish this one is a uh top coat from orly it was a top coat you know um i also finished up the peter thomas roth uh moisturizer i thought this was fine this brand does a lot of like mask and moisturizers and stuff i do like the brand overall although i don't think this was like revolutionary and i think i went through a couple of these i think i had quite a few um versions of it i also went through a good molecules niacinamide serum i really like their niacinamide and i do believe i have one that i'm rotating currently um so yeah really like that i also went through my mac lip liner in chestnut um really like the shade it's nice and darker than my lip my, than my skin tone which i do a pre oh wait can i back to mac that it's already it's already fallen in the well either way i liked it um i would purchase that again i would actually the juvia's place lip liner and cola i went through this way too fast for me to repurchase this but you know it's done and dusted happy to have finished i also finished up the abh clear brow gel it took me about six months to finish this which is a pretty nice amount and i believe this was the full size so that's nice for me to know i know abh does their like brow pencil and gels pretty much every holiday season so maybe i'll pick up like two of the kits and that'll last me a good amount of time um although i'm not a huge fan of their brow gels but maybe i can give it to a friend or a sorority sister or something i also finished up the briogeo but botanical exfoliating scrub it was okay i don't really like mask anymore so it's just not something that i really gravitate towards this was the other peter thomas roth um, moisturizer that i was talking about just a minute ago i also finished up wild poppy from nest i thought this was a nice scent but not enough for me to pick it up so i did not and i had a couple others in like a, a ziploc bag so let's see if i can get through this 
what is that oh that's the huda beauty so i finished up a huda beauty shade and for some reason that's in here i don't really know the dermalogica charcoal mask I don't really use masks, so that was just kind of a let's get through it. I also had the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I didn't really feel like this was doing a lot, but I just, it was one of those things. I was on a mission to kind of get through samples, and so this was just a sample that met its maker. Um, I also finished up the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil. I probably didn't use it the way it was supposed to. Yeah, it was supposed to be a heat primer. I just used it as a basic oil just to seal in my moisture. So I can't really give you guys a genuine, a genuine review. I don't heat treat my hair pretty much ever. I couldn't even tell you the last time I put heat on my hair. So this was just one of those things. I just had to get it done where it fit in, you know? And then the last thing that I have in this area is from H2O Plus Beauty. And this is another moisturizer. It was fine. Nothing to write home about. Okay, so I'm just going to sneak peek for my beauty project pan because once I actually do film that video, which I feel like it should be coming up maybe next month this month i don't really know um then i can just throw them in the trash and they don't have to wait another 17 months for me to show them in this type of video so i finished um an ulta beauty uh nail polish remover i go through these quite often and i tend to pick them up when they are buy three get two free or something to that effect i also finished two of the taylor win candles and this is the brand anchored anchored northwest anchored northwest that's the candle that i was talking about that didn't have the lid so i kept i took that lid off because these don't have any lids and so i liked these i'm trying to remember which one i liked the most to be quite honest um <laughs> i don't really remember uh, i think it was head turner that i liked the most i don't think these are available anymore and the third one i actually have on my candle warmer and that is because i don't actually think that it projects or like the sillage of it is really all that well when i light it but on my candle warmer i think it does fantastic so that's what is on my candle warmer now and because it's on a candle warmer it takes a longer time to get through it so eventually i'll get through it but i'm not really in a rush i actually i guess did pick up the good molecules instant cleansing balm because i probably just wanted to try the brand and i probably forgot that i had that little sample it was fine i didn't love it as i said with the little sample had i remembered i would have kept my money and used it something else i finished a sky high maybelline you guys know i've been going through that left and right i also finished up a super group unseen so i am working on my second bottle of this i really do enjoy this i wish it had a hider spf very similar to the black girl sunscreen that has i believe spf 50 but i'm not a i'm i'm a beggar so i ain't gonna be a chooser you know i also finished the kvd saint perfume so happy to be done with that insanely happy to be done with that um what else i also finished up the dolce and gabbana light blue i think i somehow received this because at one point that was on like five times the points at altar or whatever so i wanted to smell it to see if i wanted to pick it up i was unbothered by the perfume so i kind of let that go i also finished up my you or someone like you little sample i did pick up a full size of that um i also finished up my sample from giorgio my way i actually really like this and i would love to get a full size i just haven't done that yet and we got two more little empties um my nacho perfume um by julia has a gun right I believe that's the brand for this one yes and I did pick up a full size of this but I got the super dose for that and then I also have the 1969 invisible post and I do have a full size of that so this was an insanely long empties video I hope that I was able to kind of curb the reviews enough for you all and I hope that adding in in the last minute kind of for my beauty project pan update was nice for you all I will be doing a full-on legit update 
for those products but I just didn't want to kind of belabor these products and have them sit in my drawer I want to kind of start off with a fresh new drawer I need to clean my drawer there was some leakage in the bottom and all of that but yeah that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said on Friday you will be seeing this look it was a little bit of catastrophe but it came out nice so I will see you guys on Friday alrighty guys bye